Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video in Oneness We Are Abe. So this video um, is going to be about a quick update regarding what's been happening with the Notre Dame Cathedral burning. And so I pulled three cards um, before recording this video and the three cards that came through were the Higher Choices card, the Perception Reversed card, and the Strength card reversed. And so, even for the person who doesn't um, watch any news, knowing that this institution, this establishment, um, in terms of the fire, in terms of burning down, in terms of it being or it happening this month of April, so close to sun Easter Sunday, there's no coincidence for all of this happening and going on right now. So let me just bring forward what's been coming through regarding um, the cards and um, just information that's been coming to me regarding this, the sort of burning down of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Um, First of all, the thing that obviously is at the forefront of the burning down of the cathedral is the breaking down of that patriarchy that has been existing for so long within our consciousness, within our awareness, our everyday lives. Religion, as it's come forward before, is going to be breaking down all of these large institutions, religion, finance, healthcare, education, um, and the list goes on and on, is going to have to shift in order to move into higher vibrational 5D New Earth. These larger institutions are very low vibrational, and it's like the people in charge of these institutions, organizations, um, are also very low vibrational. So a complete shift in the structure has to happen in order for, if we want to bring in all of these different types of organizations and institutions, they have to go through some sort of shift in order to go through that same process that we've been going through, even as a collective, as a planet, that cleansing, clearing, healing process it's like they're showing me even these institutions everything in order to make its way into 5d new earth has to go through this they're showing me a waterfall cleansing process and then you're out on the other side um and into new earth but you have to go through that that waterfall um that or that you know when people are exposed to something and they have to be scrubbed down it's kind of what they're showing me um and so right now, a big focus with the Notre Dame Cathedral is religion on the planet. And um, the Catholic religion has been a very powerful religion on the planet. And so they're bringing my attention to this strength card in terms of um, the power on the planet. So this goes for all of the institutions, organizations that I was speaking about. They're very powerful on the planet. I mean, think about it, healthcare, finance, education, um, religion. These are very powerful sectors amongst our collective. And they hold strength in terms of um, keeping people within this matrix um, web of reality and so with the strength reversed card they're saying basically like power on the planet is being reversed so we spoke about in our video um regarding the let me double check what video was it um it was the video about i think i want to say the is raw and oh no maybe it was the facebook video that I did about number synchronicity and Christ consciousness um, or it could have been the Isra and El recent video that I did but basically we spoke about how um, the 
coins are being flipped from the the coins that had their faces up they're now they have to be flipped because energy exists um within a single coin there are two sides of a single coin so for example with christ consciousness coming to the planet we spoke about the is Ra and el um, energy held within the country of israel um, and how uh, in our collective's history we have basically built into that energy um, we have opened up into the collective this energy of guilt and shame and so the energy of guilt and shame exists within the same on the same co- or within the same coin as truth and knowing so if guilt and shame is facing up then truth and knowing is hidden and buried underneath so right now we are going through these flips of all of these different coins um the large one right now being that guilt and shame coin Um, energy that will flip into that truth and knowing um, uh, side of the coin and so um, this they're connecting me a lot of it to do again going back to the is Ra and L energy and how that also kind of surrounds this energy of religion within the country and the boundaries of Israel and it's kind of like all of this information kind of coming up all at once is connecting me to this greater realm of religion on the planet and how uh, in our collective we have broken up into, we have broken this greater oneness knowledge into so many different um, sections of separate. Um, It's basically, it's separation. We have found a way to separate the energy the truth and the knowledge of oneness and this greater consciousness and right now that is going through this major shift and this major flip for the collective um i guess this is also why the information of the is raw and l uh, energy and mission paths are coming forward so strongly right now in my videos and then this whole thing with the notre dame cathedral the Uh, energy of the Catholic religion I feel stirring um, and something coming to the surface there Um, so basically again the power is being flipped power as we know it on the planet is being flipped from that very low vibrational 3d power wanting to contain humanity and the collective within these boxes within the the energy of separation within the the matrix web of lies they're saying um and so that is flipping so that people will begin to understand and integrate more truth so this connects to the energy of the christ consciousness energy um the realms of gaia energy meaning the energy bodies of gaia opening up onto the planet the divine feminine the divine masculine um opening up at this time strongly with the four four portal within this month of april within throughout the summer um and the job of these greater um energies creative energies and and energetic bodies of gaia is to seep into our collective consciousness and help in that cleansing clearing and healing process and so what was brought forward in a past video is that we've reached this point in light workers in terms of of having a critical mass amount i guess or having enough light workers open to receiving energies um, from these greater creative energies such as the divine masculine and divine feminine um, and the energetic bodies of Gaia, Christ consciousness. So we've reached a point where we can, those energies can work through us because energy, these greater energies have a greater impact if they can flow through um, vessels, people, bodies of Gaia um, because then it can open up into the collective consciousness and shift and shift in those greater ways um, like waves throughout the entire collective consciousness 
Um, and so along with this flip of, of power, flip of energy, the flip of the coin, we have the perception card reversed. And so what this card is, what's coming through is basically as a collective, um, not just the light workers, but people who still exist within the matrix, perception within the collective is going to flip on its head. It's going to completely shift and change. And I feel like we're in this beginning stages, again, with the clearing, cleansing, healing process coming or happening with all of these greater creative energies. Um, once all of that begins to clear, once the fog begins to clear, it's like um, people will begin to see, the, the lens will become clearer. And so perception within the entire collective is going to completely shift and change. It's going to, that coin is going to completely flip over because to go from seeing with foggy glasses into seeing with clear glasses is, it's life changing, it's life altering, and the perception is completely different. And it changes everything that you thought you knew into something completely different. So, um, I feel we're moving into that direction and the dominoes are being set up for that, you know, the falling and everything kind of coming into order, everything falling into where we need to be in order for all of these shifts to happen, in order for those coins to be flipped, in order for perception to change within the collective, in order for power to shift within the collective um, and on the planet. And um, the Higher Choices card basically is bringing through this shift into bringing in higher vibrational energy, higher choices within these different organizations on the planet, such as religion, education, finance, um, you know, all of those power organizations on the planet containing people in separation in that 3D matrix, the web of lies. Um, so we're moving towards this place and where we can open higher choices, um, higher vibrational leaders. Um, this comes back into um, light workers bringing forward their inner lost knowledge and being able to contribute their inner lost knowledge into the, the rebuilding basically of all of these different organizations which have to shift somehow. They have to break down. They have to go through that waterfall cleansing clearing process scrub down everything that no longer serves the everything that no longer serves in 3d has to be cleansed wiped clear released so that new something new can be built upon it and can be and it has to be of higher vibration it has to be of vibration that matches that 5d new earth vibration so everything is being completely wiped clear and cleansed and then the healing has to take place the new integration of energy has to take place um new leadership everything is over being overturned i mean we see it uh and that's just what's coming through in the cards it's like and they're saying how um what we've done with the organizations, especially going back to religion, in terms of taking this oneness knowledge and information and truth and putting them into different boxes, creating separation, uh, creating, turning oneness into separation is what we've been doing um, in this lower vibrational 3D. But the flip of energy, the flip of power what's going to happen is we're going to now reverse that and take all of this separation that we've done, all of these different boxes that we've put this greater truth, this greater knowing into, and bring them back all together into that energy of oneness. Um, so it's like um, more so showing me the opening into the lower dimensions as we fell after the fall of Lemuria and Atlantis, opening into that darkness, that lower vibration was the complete destruction. Everything split. It's like Legos being completely broken and everything is in different pieces. And now moving back into um, that 
opening of energy, the expansion of energy, integrating more of that higher vibrational creative energy, again, divine feminine, divine masculine, Christ consciousness, the energetic bodies of Gaia coming in to help, um, integrating that into the collective through the light workers, through people on the planet, being able to be in a place to hold that energy and and filter it up into the collective that allows us to rebuild all of those Legos back into that oneness Lego of a full um, structure or whatever that Lego was before. Um, and so it's completely shifting our perceptive, our perception as a collective from separation back into oneness. And so they're saying even through the of what you will perceive in your 3D reality as breakdown, like we're gonna think everything is breaking down in terms of those major power organizations um, and structures such as religion, finance, education, and all of that stuff. We're gonna think that it's all breaking down, but in reality, it we need that further breakdown in order for everything to come back together. Um, it's just part of the process. If we don't have that major breakdown, then we're never going to be able to rebuild into that, it, back into that oneness energy, back into that oneness greater, greater structure. Um, and so another thing that's coming through in terms of the cathedral fire is how... I'm looking on a map and I see how close it is to the United Kingdom, to Ireland, and this goes back into the, the energetic bodies of Gaia, the realms of Gaia that we've been talking about. Um, and what had come through in terms of Avalon is that Avalon exists within that, that first realm of Gaia, the realm of fine things, and um, basically the 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 landmass of Avalon, as it was described to me, was this um, landmass that encompassed the United Kingdom and Ireland, but I feel like it was part of an even greater landmass that also encompassed possibly, you know, Norway, Germany, France, Spain, like all of that, like was a greater, greater landmass and maybe it was concentrated in terms of the city of Avalon where most people existed within Avalon was possibly um, within that you know United Kingdom Ireland area but it's still that landmass still probably encompassed all of these other European countries um, and and surrounding countries and so um, that's why maybe they're connecting the breakdown of the Notre Dame Cathedral with their, they're connecting it to Avalon somehow and how, let me see um, if I can tap in deeper. So what's coming through basically is the shifting of energy, the shifting of land. It's, it's, the ener it's like the energy of Avalon or the energy it's like this it's a it's a vortex of space it's a vortex that contains this very strong um, area on Gaia that contains powerful um, energy within the realms of Gaia that energy of Avalon as well as within the physical plane of Gaia on our physical planet and so it's this vortex of energy that's swirling for me right now. And it's part of it is it's it's saying that it's part part of that clearing and cleansing process. It is they're saying so major energy points on the planet. We spoke about Israel in a in a past video. Um this area near the United Kingdom area esque. Um, in that greater landmass, um, a lot of clearing and cleansing happening. And I just feel like um, in terms of this power structure shifting over, fl flipping that coin, I just feel like a lot of, um, I can't really describe it because it's a very, um, not a very nice feeling. It's just like oh, lots of gross feelings coming up. 
um, in terms of that power structure flipping over. And I think a lot in terms of how it's connected to this energy of guilt and shame and how that's going to be flipping over to truth and knowing. Um, I think a lot's going to come up in terms of um, um, shedding light on that guilt and shame within specifically because this is surrounding that Cath the Catholic religion, the Cathedral of Notre Dame. It's possible that more doors will be opened. Um, more truth in terms of the power structure within the religion and within the the church will be opening up. Um, it's like uh, they're saying right now it's the church's like religion is coming to the forefront in terms of flipping the coin of religion. Um, and all everything, the dominoes will fall. But right now, religion is at the forefront. And um, they're saying truth will open up from the, like, the basement of religion, from those dark places of religion. And this is the f one of the first steps in terms of shifting our perception and our perspective about separation and how, you know, religion has separated people on the planet for so long and our perception through truth coming through in terms of religion, um, our perception changing could possibly create shift those dominoes and have us think, you know, maybe we're not as different as we thought we were. Just because we have different religions doesn't mean that we are any different from each other. Um, but yeah, I just get that weird feeling that's not a very nice feeling in terms of, of that power structure and the truth coming out. Um, the guilt and shame being released. In order for guilt and shame to be released within the church, within religion, it has to come to the surface. It has to be recognized by um, by the collective. It has to come into our conscious minds and awareness. Because if we sweep, if we continue to sweep things under under the rug, we're not going to face it. In order for things to be cleansed and cleared within your individual self within the collective and the planet, it has to come into our conscious awareness for us to be consciously aware of the things that have been swept under the rug, the things that we don't realize that we're holding within, and then it can be released, cleansed and cleared, and then the healing process can begin to integrate. And um, with that releasing you can begin to integrate that higher vibrational energy. Releasing the energy um, of things we've swept under the rug, of things we've held so far down that we don't want to face, of things that we don't realize that we're holding on to, it create when we're when we're able to release that, it creates so much more space. And we need that space in order for that higher vibrational energy to integrate. Um, Especially they're saying in order for this next phase of the ascension that we're in right now, which is integrating more unconditional love, having that Christ consciousness also sweep in unconditional love um, as it's also releasing energy. Um, so we need to be able to make space to integrate that unconditional love, but we have to release all of um, the shadow aspects of ourselves and our collective first before that space can be made and integrate and be able to integrate more unconditional love. So another thing coming through is just the significance of the, the cathedral burning and the energy of fire. Um, so what uh, divine feminine cleanses the planet with water um, 
Water is very much connected to the energy of divine feminine. Um, divine masculine takes on the form of heat and fire. Divine feminine, cool and water. Um, so they're basically showing me this is a cleansing and clearing process that the divine masculine is helping with. Um, because the ener it's like the divine masculine energy is shifting on the planet. Religion is one of the um, one of the pitfalls kind of of the divine masculine that's been open on the planet for so long. That energy, um, that Atlantean energy is divine masculine, but not in the highest vibrational sense, in a very low vibrational sense. So this is like a shifting of that divine masculine energy from that lower vibration into the higher vibrations. Um, so even the energy of divine feminine and divine masculine has to shift. Those coins have to flip because within the energy of divine masculine and divine feminine is energy of creation and destruction. That's one coin, two sides of the same coin. Um, and so the energy of divine feminine and divine masculine that's been on the planet for so long in our lower vibrational and lower dimensional 3D earth plane has been one of destruction mostly. And so the higher vibrational, uh, more close to source energy, divine masculine and divine feminine energy is kind of opening on the planet to sweep the, the old divine feminine and divine masculine that's been present presently active on the planet in that destructive sense. And so the higher energies of divine feminine and divine masculine are opening in order to open more of that creative energy, flip the coin um, from destructive into creative. And so this is just a, a part that the divine masculine is playing in the breakdown of the the religion sector on the planet. And I think that's what needed to come through for this video and update in terms of what's going on right now with the cathedral, the Notre Dame Cathedral and religion in general uh, and where we're headed in terms of those dominoes being built up um, in order to set themselves up for those dominoes to fall. So we'll see how things unfold and continue to unfold. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. In oneness, we are Abe. Oneness and love be with you.